I hope they had a dash cam in that big truck. If they had a dash cam. We are heading to Louisiana. Woo, that I-20 is hot. That I-20 is hot. First off, before we touch on the tragic situation that happened to a driver down on I-20 in Louisiana, let's touch on a driver that was arrested on I-20 in Louisiana after jackknifing his truck doing a U-turn on I-20. Louisiana State Police called the truck driver criminally negligent after they say he attempted to do a U-turn and became jackknifed while attempting to reach a truck detour off of I-20. Louisiana says Texas-based truck driver Ali Boo has been charged with aggravated obstruction of highway of commerce. That means that, that boy stopped production down there. The, the charge stems from an incident that began around 8.30 on Monday at I-22 westbound in Bozier, Bozier City, Louisiana. Troopers say that Buh was westbound on I-20 when he carelessly missed the designated I-22 CMV detour. Buh made the illegal, ill-advised decision to utilize the shoulder off of I-20 to execute a U-turn intending to travel eastbound in the westbound lanes of I-20 in order to attempt to reach the I-22 detour. As a result of the U-turn, Buh jackknifed his truck and became stuck in the ditch. His truck and trailer has stopped both lanes of I-20. Troopers say that a motorist was forced to veer off the interstate to avoid hitting the jackknife truck, as well as other cars being stuck in the ditch. Troopers say Bud was arrested and booked. Bud's action was not only intentional, but it was also criminally negligent. We must emphasize the severity of this incident and potential harm that could have been afflicted upon innocent motorists. The safety and well-being of all individuals on our world are a paramount of importance. Well, that driver's in trouble. No, nah. I'm not playing out here. Nah, they ain't. These officials are tired of this dumb shit. No, they're not. No, they're not. And they they arresting you for it. Usually that would have just been a ticket, get your truck out of the ditch and let you go. But they arrested this dude. Uh, like, yeah, nah, nah. You're gonna learn today, driver. You're gonna learn you're gonna today. Be an example for the day. Or be an you're example. Be an example. You're gonna be an example for the day, driver. So that happened on I-20 down in Louisiana. A couple of days later, a fleeing truck driver was fatally shot by a pursuing motorist on the same interstate. Police are investigating a truck driver who was shot to death along the interstate Tuesday morning. Sad incident. The incident occurred shortly after 10 a.m. on April 23rd on I-20 near Love's truck stop in Greenwood, Louisiana. According to the police, the investigations indicate that a truck driver and the SUV driver was involved in an argument on I-20 westbound on the on-ramp at exit 3. Both truck driver and SUV driver got out of their vehicles, an argument ensues, and shots was fired. Shots was fired coming from the SUV driver. The truck driver said, oh shit, time for me to go. He decides to run away from the action, but he was chased down by the SUV driver who executed him in the middle of the field. The truck driver died at the scene. The SUV driver fled the scene, possibly heading uh -oh. towards Texas. Let's talk about that, man. That's why I don't get out. Well, me and my son, we went to Home Depot because we had a wasp nest in the backyard and we went to Home Depot to get, to get a can of a wasp spray. But I remember in a video a long time ago that being us truck drivers so to protect ourselves since we can't have our our pew pews with us 
one of the drivers said, get you some wasp spray. And the distance on that bad boy, like the, the wasp spray can spray up to like 10 feet in length. And I can vouch for it because we, we got two of them. I got one for the truck and one for the house. And that stream, yeah, that stream, yeah, we had to run too because them bad boys was coming after us. But I do have a can of it in the truck. And for me, if I see danger coming, I'm going to sit right here in my truck. And as soon as he come into range, he going to get hit. Because number one, you can't, you can't shoot what you can't see. You can't hit what you can't see. I learned all that from the Karate Kid. A man can't see, he can't fight. A right. man can't fight if he can't breathe. A man can't breathe, he can't fight. Now imagine. Man can't shoot a gun straight if he can't see. A man can't stand, he can't fight. Repeat it. So for me, that's where I'm gonna be at. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right here in my truck. Cause I'm not getting out. Ain't no telling what these guys got out here. I'm, I'm not trying to confront you or nothing like that. If I see danger, I got a deer guard on my truck. I'm going to put this bad boy in gear and run your old car right off the road, bro. I'm going to call my fleet manager and say, hey, danger was approaching and I have to use my truck for a defense or for my safe. I won't do that. Rest in peace to this driver. Yeah. And I, I, I do hope they they do catch this guy. I'm not sure if they caught him already, but we do have an update on the driver that was executed. He was identified as, now I can't pronounce his name, but it's Gurpeed Shahid, S-I-N-G-H. Sorry for beating up his name. Oh, he also have another name, Judge. So we just gonna call you Judge. So Gurpi Shahid Shahid Judge, but we just gonna call you Judge. He was 36. He was Damn. the he was the driver that was shot by the SUV driver in the head. So they're still was looking. he a company driver or he had his own truck? I'm not sure. It doesn't say whether he's a company driver or not. He says uh, it, it don't say. It just say that he was executed because he was shot in the head. His name is Judge. He's 36 years old. But as I do a Google check on this young man, because I wanted to know a little bit more, I find this article of a truck driver who called 911 to report his wife and three other family members that was shot dead. And he is now being accused of killing them. Now, let me just stop right there. Judge is not on here. So I am not sure if this is a different driver. And it's all there. It says truck driver. And, and there was a truck driver. They identified him as as the same spelling. G-U-R-P-R-E-E-T-S-I-N-G-H. But they don't have judge. And it says in this article that he's been in jail for a while. So I don't know if uh -oh. I, I don't know if that's the same one. But in this article right here, it says an Ohio truck driver was arrested in Connecticut. It just says it just says Tuesday. It really don't give a date. So I'm not sure the range on here. But mm -hmm. it says he was arrested Tuesday for the murders, murders of his wife, the wife's mother, the wife's father and the wife's aunt therapy or i'll just say truck driver 37 you see what i'm saying the driver that was killed in louisiana was 36 but the driver right here that's really? accused right the driver right here that's accused of these murderers murders allegedly is 37. it says here he's facing murder charges after the investigators allege he killed again his wife, her parents, and the wife's aunt in Westchester, Ohio. 
Bradford police arrested the truck driver Tuesday in Connecticut after being contacted by an Ohio police who reported the driver was staying at a residence in that area. What in the world? This is puzzling. This, this is, is puzzling. puzzling, right? We so before I even go on further, and we'll just leave it right there. I I was digging all morning. Like I put his name in the Google search, in the Yahoo search, and it was coming up this story of the alleged murdering of his family and the story of the truck driver that was being unalived in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Now, again, the article with, with the family says he's in jail. So who is the other guy? Who? Right. And like I said, the, the, the other guy, it, it's the same name, but it's, it's also judge. And then his name without the judge. I'm confused. So I, I'm, I'm going to wait a little while longer. Hopefully from the Louisiana end, we should get some more updates. Hopefully they would have found the, the driver that shot and executed the, the, the truck driver. Hopefully they got some video footage because this was happening around 10 a.m. in the morning. So hopefully they got driver cam footage and hopefully they got the highway cameras footage so this is crazy so we'll update you guys or at least i will try to on both stories because i i don't know because i'm confused they're both they they're both truck drivers the family was executed gunshot to the head the driver in louisiana was chased down and executed but again drivers stay safe out there man it ain't no reason for you to put your life on the line even for road rage don't get out your truck if you see if you see danger coming don't get out your truck man and get yourself all 911 yeah 911 and get yourself some wasp spray get yourself some wasp spray i'm telling oh. you the distance on them wasp sprays ain't no joke they the truth man and yep <laughs> and dash cam always works Get oh, a yeah. good dash cam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, again, you, you see where I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the wasp spray. Remember, it's your word against theirs. As long as you have a, a dash cam, you can prove everything.